grew up in Burma, there were some political upheavals during the time that I was uh, growing up. So at the age of eight, my primary middle school shut down for a long time. I was uh, very lucky because my mother worked in an international college, so she was able to give us education during the time there was no school. Knowing that I did not have that as a younger student growing up in a place like Burma, you know, that has a huge impact on how I view education and the importance of scientific research. My lab works in the multidisciplinary areas of chemistry and biology. If you think about the number of cells, in, let's say, in a human body, they give and take 50 trillion. Each and every cell is affected by highly diverse uh, reactive chemical species, uh, both good and bad. It has been a long-standing mystery in the field how all these different cells interact in the human body to maintain uh, this sort of healthy balance. To solve this conundrum, my lab takes a very unique chemistry-driven approach and develop tools to study these reactive chemical signaling events. It's a high-risk, high-reward idea. And my second semester in Cornell, uh, we discovered that we actually uh, could make it work, and that has been incredibly exciting. Our lab has thus far had representatives from nine different ethnic groups. We currently have uh, students from seven different countries. One striking thing is a supportive environment and network for the students uh, that we have uh, here. Uh, graduate students, they have a very healthy competition among them. Uh, my lab students very supportive of each other. I think that is very unique to uh, what I have experienced at different institutions. The open door policy that Cornell campus actually boasts is very unique, I would say. I think that, you know, that's, that's quite amazing, yeah.